Good day, learners, and welcome to another lesson in Philippine history and government. Today's lesson is all about Fidel V. Ramos. Fidel V. Ramos was born on March 18, 1928, popularly known as FVR and Adi. is a retired Filipino general and politician who served as the 12th president of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998. He is the only career military officer who reached the rank of five-star general or admiral de jour who rose from second lieutenant up to a commander-in-chief of the armed forces. During his six years in office, Ramos was widely credited and admired by many of revitalizing and renewing international confidence in the Philippine economy. During the 1986 EDSA People Power Revolution, Ramos was hailed as a hero by many Filipinos for his decision to break away from the administration of President Marcos and pledge allegiance and loyalty to the newly established government of President Corazon Aquino. Prior to his election as president, Ramos served in the cabinet of President Corazon Aquino, first as Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, and later as Secretary of National Defense from 1986 to 1991. He was credited for the creation of the Philippine Army Special Forces and the Philippine National Police Special Action Force. Since his retirement, he has remained active in politics, serving as advisor to his successors. At the time of his accession in 1992, he was the first and only Protestant elected president of the majority Catholic country and the only Filipino officer in history to have held every rank in the Philippine military from second lieutenant to commander-in-chief. He is also the third oldest person at the age of 64 to assume the presidency following current President Rodrigo Duterte and Sergio Osmeña. The first three years of his administration were characterized by an economic boom, technological development, political stability, and efficient delivery of basic needs to the people. He advocated party platforms as outlined in Agenda for Governance. He was the first Christian Democrat to be elected in the country, being the founder of LACA CMD or Christian Muslim Democrats Party. He was one of the most influential leaders and the unofficial spokesman of liberal democracy in Asia. During his administration, he focused on the Philippines' 2005-point program, Peace and Stability, Economic Growth and Sustainable Development, energy and power generation, environmental protection, and streamlined bureaucracy. While campaigning for the presidency, Fidel Ramos declared his support for reinstating the death penalty. Capital punishment was abolished for all crimes in 1987, making the Philippines the first Asian country to do so. In 1996, Ramos signed a bill that returned capital punishment with the electric chair, method used from the 1923 to 1976, making Philippines the only country to do so outside the United States of America, until the gas chamber could be installed. However, no one was electrocuted or gassed because the previously used chair was destroyed earlier and the Philippines adopted the method of lethal injection. Some people were put to death by this means until the death penalty was abolished again in 2006. Peace with separatists 
Ramos, a military general himself, made peace with the rebel panels. He was instrumental in the signing of the final peace agreement between the government and the Moro National Liberation Front, or MNLF, led by Nur Miswari in 1996. And there you have it, Fidel V. Ramos, the 12th President of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more lessons to learn. Bye!